right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Guys, uh, this is going to have to be your KF Live fill-in video for Monday, the 13th of September, uh, 2021. There's no KF Live tonight, so you got KF Recorded or KF Memorex or... Do any, do any of you even know what Memorex is? I mean, I do. So, um, just thought I would go over a few things here. We just did a weekend review on Friday and went over a ton of stuff. Uh, but I just thought I'd go over a few things. And then I've got a little topic I want to go down. And we're going to talk about, I mean, I've got probably 20 knives sitting over here. And we're going to roll through some things about these knives. Uh, I'm going to put my glasses back on so I can actually see. And you guys can just enjoy that. But, um... So we're going to go through a few things. The first thing I wanted to talk about, guys, I wanted to thank Justin from White Mountain Knives. If you guys haven't heard, and I'll have this down in the description, I am now an affiliate with White Mountain Knives. And if you use the code KNIVESFAST at checkout, you get 10% off and I believe free shipping. So that is a heck of a deal. Uh, Justin's prices are already good. His service is good. I've got a few knives coming in from him to check out that I will then review and turn back over to him send back to him, I guess you'd say. Um, but yeah, I mean, this community is so great, guys. And this only happens um, because of you guys. It only happens because you've supported the channel. Uh, we're at about, when I'm recording this on Friday, uh, the uh, we are at about 1,860 subscribers. So we're coming up on 2,000, hopefully in the next couple of months, two or three months, whatever. Who knows? It's hard to tell. It kind of goes really fast growth and then it just goes wee, one new sub here and there and so it's hard to say but I am working my way to get ready for um, the 2000 subscriber giveaway uh, a little behind on that so it's okay if it goes a little slower but I'll, I'll be ready uh, no matter when it happens and um, man you you want to talk about excited guys uh, just the, the way you support the lives, the KF live, the, the, when, when I can do the weekend review live, the way you support my videos, uh, it's just been overwhelming. I mean, I'm just a dude talking about knives. I'm nothing special. And some of you would say, you know, this, uh, head makes me, uh, crazy and you know, whatever else. So, uh, but you guys support the channel and I just think it's it absolutely, completely amazing. Uh, and I just appreciate it so, so much. The other thing I wanted to do was say thank you to you folks out there uh, that are patrons of the channel. Uh, I talked about this on Friday. Uh, shipping continues to be a big deal, so it, it definitely helps uh, keep me from having to dip into the family finances, which uh, isn't a good thing to do uh, when you guys support the channel. So if you're interested, that link is down in the description as well, Patreon. Uh, go over there. It's Patreon. I think something like Slash Knives Fast, maybe something that easy, and go check it out. I've got several levels, um, and uh, anything you can do to support the channel is great. So, uh, topic. So, I want to talk about, we, we kind of went down a little bit of a tangent on um, uh, small knives on Friday on Weekend Review. So, I have literally... 12, 13 small knives sitting down here, however many it is. And I just wanted to talk through kind of what I was saying because I think some people didn't completely understand. So the one that I was talking about uh, at the time was this guy that I'm about to record my review of very, very soon. This is the 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 Civivi, I almost said the Wii, Baby Banter. Now you guys know I love its brother, its dad, its brother, whatever this is. Uh, the banter. I love the banter. The banter fits my hand wonderfully well, and the banter is a great blade length. My thing that I was saying, this is a great fifth pocket knife. This is a wonderful fifth pocket knife, but what I heard some people saying was, let's see if I can say this better this time, because I didn't say it well on Week in Review, but um, some people are saying with the choil, they actually like this knife better than this knife. Now, by itself, this is a really good knife as a backup for me. This is a secondary knife. This, even though it's a smaller knife, is a primary knife for me. I, I have a long enough blade where I can cut through things and have enough blade uh, to deal with it. On this one, the blade is good for certain tasks. 
when you're choked up like this and you're near and you've only got, what is that, a two-inch blade, um, it just isn't enough blade for me. Um, I, you guys know I prefer, unfortunately, uh, a couple of my knives are already packed um, away, a, away to travel, but you guys know I, I, I really prefer bigger knives. I just do. I mean, uh, my K320, my Manix 2s, both of them, these two guys... My Giant Mouse GM2, uh, I just prefer larger knives. They fit my hand better. I've got plenty of room in this blade to do whatever I want, okay? If I want to carve, if I want to, you know, whatever it is, just do EDC tasks. If I want to cut boxes, which I've done with both of these quite a bit, uh, wow, and as far as breaking down boxes, these are great for for whatever comes in my day. So this is a primary, this is a primary. And what is great about it, in my opinion, is because I can use these for just about anything. Uh, love them. And, and that's why I like big knives. So now, am I saying I don't like small knives? No, I'm not. There's plenty of places. And you guys know, if you've watched the channel, you know I got, let's just rattle through a few. I've got two different uh, CRKT squids. And I love these things. These are a great fifth pocket or backup knife for me. They are wonderful. The blade shape is my my preferred blade shape. This great drop point. Uh, I love. It's actually these are more like a spear, but yeah, they are a spear. Um, same same basic belly of a blade. Okay, I love that. Uh, you guys know that one of my favorite knives is this guy right here. The the um. Blue, nice fast blue, um, Finch, I almost called it the Rentley, the Finch 1929. And here's the other one, the black uh, Linen Micarta. I love both of these knives, guys. Uh, excuse me, this is not the black Linen Micarta. That's on the on the holiday. This is the gray denim Micarta. Um, I love both of these, especially this one because I put my own touch on it. Um, these are great knives, but for me, these are not a primary. They are in the pocket a lot, this one especially, in the pocket a lot, but they're not a primary for me. Now, is is it okay if they're a primary for you? Sure, absolutely, and I could see this one being a primary if I was wearing a pair of sweatpants or like gym shorts and I wanted to have something just in case. Sure, sure, okay? Um, you guys know I love my dragonfly. You know I love the utility shape of the Finch Runley. These are great, 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 great knives. This guy, now let me go a little further and confuse you even more. This is still not a primary. I would carry something like, as a matter of fact, these have been together quite a few times. I carry something like this and I would have this and this. But I will tell you, depending on the steel you get on some of these, and maybe this Nitro V just needs to be tested uh, for me, but these are knives that can do some work. This guy right here, Broke down some boxes when it's what I had in my pocket and there were five or six people in the room and I did not want to open up a big old knife like this. It was an office setting. I got this out. I ripped open these boxes. We went through all the contents together. I had tape goo all over this thing. Um, how's that face? Uh, somebody's going to freeze that. Probably John. John's going to do a video with that face. Go ahead, John. It's okay. Grateful panic. Um, but this is a very useful knife, and I think a lot of that is because of the steel. It just is. It's it's great. So what else? Um, I have uh, this awesome, awesome Kershaw Shuffle. Really just a cool-looking knife, and it definitely cuts. Um, it's not one I carry a ton, but it cuts, and it's useful as a secondary, as a backup. Uh, the Pillar, again, a lot of people. Now, let's go back since we got a knife with great ergos. So there's... Great ergos on this one, and great ergos on this one. Now, I actually think Vox has it by a little bit, and now I've got a little bit more belly. Well, no, it's about the same. Yeah, they're about the same. All right, I take it back. Um, but there's just something about this knife and the utility tip of it that allows me to get in and use that even more. But it's still a backup knife for me. It's a secondary. It just is. Uh, you guys know I love the Spyderco Ambitious backup knife. Again, great, great shape. And I can get four fingers on this guy. Golly, just love that knife. Um, 
a couple of knives that people call small that may actually fall into a different category here. Okay, so the Rat 2, as you guys know, and the CGRB, as you guys know, are smaller knives. But in this case, they have a little bit longer blade. Okay, so you can see right there, their blade is a little longer. Where's that baby banter? I keep closing everything because I don't want to cut myself. A uh, lot longer than the baby banter, you can see. So even though these are small knives, especially the Rhea, people would call this a small knife. But I can, I have carried this as a primary, so I'm contradicting myself. But it's got a longer blade. In both cases, I would carry either one of these as a primary if I wanted to be a little less, you know, ha have something a little lighter with me or something a little smaller. Uh, if I was wearing certain dress pants or those kinds of things, these guys would definitely turn into be a primary. Most of the time, they're secondaries. The very vast majority of the time, they're secondaries. Another one like that. Oh, by the way, I didn't show one other small knife. I almost missed it, the Bev Edge. Just love this Bev Edge from CRKT. Uh, great, great blade shape from Eric Oaks. Great uh, opening hole there. And I'm probably not going to be able... Yeah, okay, there you go. You can do that on camera. So there you go. Um, the This one is another one that falls in the same category as the Rhea. It's a longer blade. It's still not a full-size knife for me. Uh, but this is more than often... The um, cut jack is uh, cut jack small is more than often one that's a backup for me, but it can be a primary. So there's kind of my view on small knives. Now, a lot of you would consider the original banter a smaller knife, and it is. And I bet you Peter uh, from Therapeutic Edge and Kyle from DTOM, uh, this is probably too small for you guys. And I know Peter doesn't really care for this knife, if I remember correctly. But anyway, um, so everything is going to, my point is, everything's going to fit and feel different to everyone. Um, and and that's, that's fine. That's great. So uh, tell me what you guys think. Um, do you like only large knives or only small knives? Or uh, do you like, like me, a variety? Do you carry a primary and a backup? Do you carry um, just a primary and, and, you know, other things like on this uh, like when I'm out of town working, I always have my Leatherman, um, my Micra, and my Wave with me. I have both of those. Uh, so I might have something like, um, well, they're, upst they're upstairs right now, but I might have something size-wise like this guy uh, or like a Manix 2 probably, and then I might have both of those Leathermans with me. Uh, so it just depends on the situation. So just doing this video to A, have something to talk to you guys about and something for you to leave some comments and talk about, and B, to to um, kind of clarify my position from K, uh, from Week in Review this week, uh, making sure people understood kind of a little bit better where I'm coming from. This is a great, great knife, and my review will say that. But to me, it's a backup. It'll always be a backup. It's not a primary for me unless I'm just around the, ho how, the horse around the house in shorts. Um, and that's that's it. So that was the point I was trying to make. But as you can see in front of you guys, um, I, I dig small knives. I mean, I'm not dishing small knives. I love small knives. I've got plenty of them. I love them. And this is basically the, the, the flagship knife of the channel. So I definitely love... Did I talk about the Runtley? Yes, I did. I love the Runtley as well. I mean, this is just a great utility blade shape, and I love this. But, but, you've heard Finch talking about coming out with one of these in a, um, in a, a Runtley XL, and I am incredibly excited about that. Uh, it's just, you know, again, it, you know, it's, it's a funny thing to talk about. So, let me know what you think, guys. Maybe you think I'm nuts. Uh, I probably am, and that's okay. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry I'm missing KF Live tonight. Give me some comments. I'll, I'll hopefully hit some Wi-Fi long enough to check the comments. And maybe if I get lucky, maybe I'll even do this video as a premiere if I happen to be not working and actually have Wi-Fi. But, I don't know. So, we will find out. And, guys, I'm so thankful for each and every one of you and your support of the channel uh, give me a thumbs up for this video and give me some comments down below and let me know what you think. 
Um, and guys, if you like what you see and you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And plenty of great reviews coming your way this week. Uh, and it's just going to be a great week. So thanks so much for all you do to support the channel. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.